Storm Shield weather, certified most accurate. Well, good evening, everyone. Well, every day we get a little closer to some relief, but tomorrow we have another heat advisory in effect between 12 and 8, and we should have those heat indices climbing between, say, 105 and 110, or 100 to about 110. Uh, right now, heat advisory everywhere from Okima to Manford, northeast, right up to the Missouri border. Then you go to an excessive heat warning over toward Joplin. Now, tomorrow, the dew point should drop just a little bit. Remember, the higher this number, the more humid it feels. Tomorrow afternoon, if this date is right, it drops just a little bit, but sometimes when the air is drier, it has the capacity to warm faster and more. And so could we push 100 degrees for the first time this summer tomorrow? Right now, the data indicates an upper 90s day, 98 tomorrow in Tulsa, 98 in Bartlesville, 96 at Muskogee. So close, but I don't think we'll quite get there. I think there'll just be a little too much humidity left in the air. Wednesday and Thursday, cold front nears, 20% chance from for Tulsa back to the northwest. Better chances in, in south central Kansas and western Oklahoma, a 60% chance. Then Friday, there'll be a thunderstorm complex Thursday night. Friday, it's tracking southeastward and weakening. And right now, it looks like we'll have a little bit of light rain here Friday morning, and then it'll clear out by the afternoon. The heavier thunderstorms will stay back well to the west and northwest of Tulsa. Today's high 97, average high is 94, so above average again. On both ends, the morning low is 77, 73 is the average low, 107 in 2011. So it can be worse, has been worse, has been hotter. Thankfully, it wasn't that hot today. Right now, we've got a moonlit sky out there. It's just a little hazy with all the humidity around. The temperature currently sits at 86 degrees, pretty warm even for a summer night. Southeast winds at 6 miles an hour, and it still feels like it's 96. 85 at Owasso right now, 85 at Catoosa, Bixby and Jenks are in the mid 80s. Broken Arrow currently at 85 degrees, headed through the overnight hours. We just don't cool down very much at all. Look at that 6 a.m. temperature, still around 81, which is why I raised the overnight low to 79 for Tulsa, 75 at Muskogee, 76 at Grove tonight, 77 at McAllister. That's an inviting looking view from the water slide, and it will be pool weather. Just remember to put on the sunscreen and take those frequent breaks. Again, we'll have a heat index tomorrow afternoon about 105 uh, as we head into the late afternoon hours. 98 and prior tomorrow, 97 in Tahlequah, Okmulgee around 97, Coffeyville at 97, and McAllister around 98. The seven day forecast, Wednesday 95 degrees, then Thursday 93 with a 20% chance for some rain. If you were headed to the pool on Thursday, the best chance would be noon to about 1 o'clock or 10, 10 a.m. to about 1 or 2 o'clock. Then later in the day, you have that chance for some scattered showers and thunderstorms popping up on Thursday. Friday, that chance is in the morning. And then look at this. After a 90 degree high on Friday, boy, we are cranking the heat right back up. That's what I meant by we're not done yet. 95 on Saturday, 97 on Sunday. If you're headed to the rough next match, make sure you're drinking plenty of water out there. Ooh. It's going to be hot. But 90 is going to be such a nice break. It will feel nice. Mm -hmm. All right. Thanks, Brett.